What up, guys? CP the Tool Addict. How the heck you been? Uh, sorry I've been gone for a while. Uh, I know you've probably been waiting for some tool hauls and stuff, and I got some videos stored up, and I uh, uh, got some tool hauls that came in the pipe, uh, whatnot. Uh, been super, super busy. Um, you know, I just had time for a couple live streams, um, but... I had been fighting a problem for a couple weeks in the shop, and uh, I just had to do a video about uh, something that really uh, has become a huge pet peeve of mine, and I just don't know what exactly um, drives people to this mentality, or how this ever got to this way, but for some reason, the correlation between the tool industry and the technician or the mechanic um, has faltered and what really bothers me is, is that there's really not that much uh, content out there on it so um, and what I'm referring to basically is the six point versus the twelve point now what I really um, what really do, I don't understand is, I guess, is how the six point um, is so righteous for a socket. Now, most of you probably know, or just by common sense, know that when you put a socket on a fastener, um, you know, you put the no normal six point socket, or you go to buy them. For instance, most of your sockets, um, I'm just going to use this cornwall set as an example. Uh, I'm not at the shop, got been working late, and I just got done dealing with this, so it was fresh on my mind. But most of your sockets that you buy are six point. Um, you know, unless you buy a really super duper cheap set, which well, I don't know why that's always been a standard they put in 12 point, but they do. Um, you know, most of your good, high-quality, um, you know, Mac sockets are six-point. Um, you know, my uh, Snap-on sockets, six-point. Uh, Blackhawk sockets, six-point. Um, Sonic sockets, six-point. You get the gist of it. You know, not to beat a dead horse there, but I did. Um, but when you go to get wrenches, however... This is what boggles my mind. This is a Mac knuckle saver wrench. I've had it for a long time. Uh, it's a 13 mil. Um, it's not a... Uh, I use my ratcheting wrenches, which I didn't bring my wrenches home. Um, but I've also... These were the ones that I've used for the most part. Um, these are my S&K. And, um, and um, you can see that they have definitely had some more use to them. But... You can see they're 12 point. Those are two pretty standard wrenches. Now, back in the day, when you used to buy Craftsman, which that's what this is, and granted, this is an old rusty, you know, wrench, but this is a beat up one that I found somewhere. Uh, who knows where, but it's a USA made Craftsman wrench. But looky there, it's six point. Here's what really blows your mind. So, I did buy a cheap set of wrenches back in the day, and some of you probably remember these and they still sell these through some tool truck vendors da, da, da. yeah the old uh, the old wrench that has the old uh, you know whoop whoop um, worthless really uh, never was a fan of them but this wrench however is six point and it's still an actual durable wrench and the reason why I have this wrench is because I actually bought the set of these, um, thinking that they were, you know, convenient, but what I have found is, is that carrying them in the truck makes a huge difference for me working on stuff because, and this is where the problem comes in about six point versus 12 point, which drives me crazy. And I don't mean to drag this on for too long. I know you guys are waiting for me and probably salivating for me to get to the point. Um, so I'm going to be, stop beating a dead horse, but 
If you look at using a fastener, now this is a half inch drive fastener, keep in mind. And the reason why I got a half inch drive fastener is because of this right here. You see this? Most guys will put a rat or so, uh, um, rat, a wrench or a socket on this fastener and calling it a 13. You see how much play that has in there? Let me get this in there. Let me get this in there real tight for you so you can see, you know, what I'm talking about. You see how much, see what's going to happen to the edges there? They're going to strip first. Now, that's a 13 millimeter, which is pretty common, okay? But you stick that same 13 millimeter on a six point. Now, look at all that surface area you've got to cover up. Get in there and focus, little fella. You see how much more surface area you got to cover? And if you've got the, if you're getting the point or picking up what I'm putting down now, then you'll understand, okay, this is a half inch. This is the actual wrench that the fastener fits. Look at that. Look at how tight and snug that is. You have less of a chance of rounding that fastener up because you're using a six point wrench. Now, you take that same, you know, guy that's got a 12 point wrench. He sticks his 13 on there. Oh, look, I can get it off. It fits, kind of. Bam, he strips it off. Now you've got a stripped off bolt you got to fight with. You're wasting your time. You're wasting your energy. Blah, 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 so on and so forth. You get the point? So I don't know how or why we've got to this point that 12-point that 12 wrenches are okay, but we buy 6-point sockets. Seems ignorant to me. Seems absolutely... Now, I do understand the reason why we are buying 12-point wrenches is because of this little incident right here. Everybody says, oh, no, well, I got a tight space, so I want a rent ratchet that's done this. I don't have to move it back very far, and boom, I catch another tooth, you know, blah, blah, blah. I personally have six-point wrenches that I use predominantly, and I don't see... Where it's that big of an issue. If you're in that tight of a space. Where you need to. Run your wrench back that far. And it's going to cause you. Then chances are that bolt's not going to make a big difference anyways. And if that's the case. Most of you are probably using the opened in. If you're in that tight of a space. So. <clears throat> that's my uh, that's my rant. And I, wouldn't, I don't know if this is technically a rant. Or it's an educational um, you guys can decide however you want to look at it. Um, but the thing about it is, is to the people that I know and to my technicians, my biggest problem is, is I see a guy, I come over and look at the fastener and I look at the head of it and I see these numbers on there and I go, well, that's a standard fastener. Okay. But all the corners are stripped off of it. And I say, well, let me see the wrench you're using. He great shows, gives me the wrench and then hands me this. Oh, it's a 13, not the SK, just a 13 mil, which then I am like, you're an idiot. I don't say you're an idiot because that would be mean. Um, so to be politically correct, what I say is, do you know what you did wrong here? And they'll say, no, the fastener's junk. Somebody else stripped it off. And I go, that's because you and the guy before you have both been using the wrong wrench. Now, had they been using a 13 mil... 13 mil six point wrench look at the difference it makes just in how much tighter it is so you see the see how how this 13 mil would actually keep you from getting this thing rounded off look at how much surface area that you have on this you are not you have are less likely to round the same half inch fastener using a 13 mil six point wrench then you are using a 13 mil 12 point wrench because let's face it you're just not going to you're ju you're just it's just a tighter fit it's just more reliable i mean that way what i say is is that and what i'm getting at is is that i don't understand why we're using 12 point wrenches ratcheting wrenches i personally 
Um, I mean, I know I have a lot of 12-point wrenches, but I also have a fair amount of 6-point wrenches for this reason, because the majority of the time I use 6-point wrenches on my fasteners, because that's what I want. Now, for some reason, the tool industry, I feel like, has made it set at the standard that you buy 6-point sockets and 12-point wrenches. Dumb. It, it doesn't make any sense to me. Okay, why would you have a 6-point socket and 12-point wrench? So, if you can't get that off with your socket and you need a wrench to do it with, do you honestly believe that your 12-point wrench is going to help you out? Chances are probably not. Um, you're, you're already, you already shit up a creek. So, uh, that's my little spiel about that. You guys can sure comment down below in that box. And, uh, you know, tell me what you think about it. Tell me if you think I'm, you know, um, you know, what, you, what your feelings are about this. I honestly, um, it's, it's not that you need to add to your toolbox. I just think you need to be wary for new technicians that are starting up in the business. I understand you're going to try to save money and you're going to buy a cheaper wrench set. And it's most likely going to be 12 point. But I strongly urge you to buy 6 point until you get to know your fasteners. Because this way it's going to make you better in the long run and not stripping out stuff. You're going to be faster, more efficient, and less spending less time repair, uh, removing broken bolts. That's just my take on it. Um, you know, I carry this popular mechanic set in my truck because of this reason right here, you know. Well, if I have, uh, this kind of doubles as both wrenches, in my opinion. I can get away with removing a looser metric fastener as well as uh, a standard fastener with the same exact wrench. You know, I mean, I can use a half inch on it or I can use a 13. You know, um, it fits really snug with a half inch, but... Um, it also fits fairly snug with a 13. Therefore, I'm not going to have to worry about stripping those fasteners. So, it's kind of, to me, one size fits better. Uh, that's just my opinion. Uh, you know, I mean, I certainly don't have near as many problems when I'm using a socket stripping out bolts as I do when I'm using a wrench. Because a wrench, 9 times out of 10, is going to have a 12-point end on it. Um, you know, uh, I haven't seen that much content out there on this stuff. And, uh, you know, d whether or not you have the Flank Drive Plus or, you know, the Precision Torque or, you know, the Torque Dispensing, uh, uh, what do they call it? What's Cornwall call them? The Torque Dispensing, Dispersing System, the TDS, uh, you know, uh, the TDS system, you know, where the, your corners are depth, uh, you know, I mean, Sun X has them too. Their corners are chamfered uh, for the fastener to get in there deeper. Let's, let's take a look and see uh, just how how much tighter this is than this gear wrench. Let's see if I can get this bolt down in there. I can't. Stinking sucker. I want to try to get it in there uh, so I get a better view on it. I don't see any difference between this. It's obviously it's a half inch bolt. Um, you know, I, I understand that it's a half inch bolt. I did that on purpose. See if I can get my fat chunky fingers out of the way. It, it doesn't seem to be... I, I brought my gear wrench pass through. I should have brought my half inch in there, but you can see on the pass through, you know, it, I'm, it's a little bit more of what I'm talking about. And I don't, I'm sure these are not really any more different. They're pretty thin. This whole socket would probably break before the head would strip out. Anyhow, I think you understand what I'm saying for the most part. If you don't, leave me a question down in that comment box. Ring that bell, like, share, subscribe, all that stuff. Uh, appreciate you guys watching. And, uh, you know, probably after the first of the year, we're going to get back into some more tool haul stuff and whatnot. I just got to get uh, some stuff cleaned up, paperwork. Uh, you know, you got Christmas stuff going on. Uh, like I said, I've been sick for a week, so... That didn't help, and, uh, you know, just a lot going on in this year. So, I'm really laying back on the content a lot. Don't really have time to be messing around too much on YouTube, so. I appreciate you guys watching. Remember, ring that bell! And, uh, we'll catch you on the next one. Keep on wrenching. 
you know, spread a little love. Oh, I, you know, I just wanted to say too, uh, um, I always forget something, you know, <laughs> of course. Uh, I really am, uh, I've noticed a few channels. Uh, I think I'm going to, um, you know, I'm going to start promoting some more of these channels. Uh, there's a couple new kids I've seen on these channels. Um, you know, these new technicians are really, you know, that's really my, my biggest focus is, is to make sure these guys are steered in somewhat of the right direction. And I feel like that I'm giving, they're getting good information, uh, that helps them out. And this is one of those deals where I hate to see a guy, you know, beat himself up over this stuff. But there's a couple channels, uh, such as the Rust Belt, who donates to the colleges and stuff like that. And I think this is where I finally found um, what I want to do with my YouTube. We're almost to 1,000 subscribers. So, you know, um, that's going to be one of those deals. We get to 1,000. Um, I think I'm going to start donating some stuff um, to the colleges for every 1,000 subscribers I get. Um, I already did uh, take up some stuff to the college, um, dropped off for a couple of kids who were um, needing some extra money um, stuff for, or needing extra tools, I should say. I dropped off some extra tools, um, stuff that I didn't need anymore, um, that I had too much of, um, and I, I really feel like that's a good thing to do. I want to, to promote the industry bring these guys into this industry, these new young people, um, that, uh, you know, the skilled trade, we need to, you know, help these young guys get into this, and, uh, um, there's a lot of good ones out there I see popping up, and I'm really excited about seeing that, so, uh, there's one, one gentleman I seen, and I can't remember his name, but there's, he's got a channel, and I'll, I'll try to remember it next time, I'll write it down, CXL1 or something like that, Mr. CXL, Great little channel that guy's got. He's got himself a new toolbox, and he's got some stuff, and he's buying. And Really look forward to seeing his stuff come along in the future. So, like I said, guys, comments, questions, concerns, criticisms, leave them down in that comment box. Ring that bell. Share. And uh, thanks for being great viewers, and keep on wrenching.